Hi YouTube, Mel here. Just thought I'd give you an update and let you know how I'm going. Um, I haven't updated anything in about two weeks, but I have had my period, yay! It started a week late, and then I just went and saw the fertility specialist today. And basically all that happened was I, my husband and I signed some papers um, just saying that we give permission for our eggs to be defrosted and that sort of stuff. Um, and then they said, how are you going to pay the $750 for the egg transfer? I said, what? <laughs> um, we were told before that you could transfer the money from the previous IVF cycle to the frozen egg transfer. And apparently not. <laughs> um, stupidly enough, Medicare is very annoying and they consider it a separate cycle. So yay for us. Um, but we sat down with we sat down with them and I think because we had the Medicare check which gave us a $550 rebate, uh, we only had they just used that and we just had to pay the difference, so we only had to pay 150 today, which was a lot better than 750. <laughs> um, I think I got my maths mixed up there, but yeah, basically we paid 150 today. And I had a blood test done, which didn't that, didn't really hurt that much. Some nurses hurt and others don't, and I like this one. Uh, she didn't hurt too much. Um, what else? Oh, we sat down with the nurse and I discussed a few things. Because we only have two eggs and they're frozen at the two cell stage, she said that the chances of them maturing are pretty good if they survive the defrosting uh, process, which apparently 30% of eggs don't survive the defrosting. Um, so I'm not sure if that means 30% of everyone who goes through IVF um, like as a whole group or 30% of each batch of eggs that is defrosted. So if we lose 30% of our eggs that's pretty much half like we'll have one and a half good eggs maybe. Um, sorry about that my phone just rang. Uh, that was the fertility clinic. Apparently I'm showing no signs of ovulation at the moment, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> apparently it's really common and yeah, apparently everything's just delayed after an IVF cycle, which is really sucky. Um, I just want this to happen and uh, I'm just so over it right now. Um, uh, and now I've forgotten where I was. Ah, oh, where was I? Oh, okay, yep. Defrosting eggs. Um, okay. Yeah, apparently 30% of eggs don't survive the defrosting process. Um, so that means we're probably going to lose half of our eggs, which we only have two, so we'll probably have one left. And I have somehow managed to convince myself that... I don't know how I've done this, but I feel like I've already been through the whole process and it hasn't worked. So I'm kind of like just not excited at the moment. And now I'm really angry because my body is being stupid and I hate it right now. <sighs> this is me when I have like just gotten bad news. I get really cranky or really upset. And right now I'm cranky because it's my own body. Um, yeah, so I have to go back in on Saturday. Today's Thursday. So I have to go back on Saturday and have another blood test. Um, and see what they say about that. Which, it better say something because, like, I have to work. <laughs> and I have to arrange with work to have days off and things like that. So it's very, very frustrating right now. 
that everything just keeps getting delayed and delayed and then just when you think you're on track, something else happens. It's really starting to bug me. Um, but yeah, I, I was originally today going to get the house ready and cook about for different dinners and freeze them so that I can just rest and prepare and now I don't know what's going on so that really sucks again. I'm just going to rant for this video, I'm sorry, feel free to turn it off. I'll probably recap in another video on Saturday so I can let you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm just really annoyed at the moment now. Yeah, I'm just annoyed. Sorry, I just thought I'd take a little bit of a break and then come back and do it again. Um, basically, alright, a quick recap. My period started about a week ago and that's finished. I saw the fertility specialist today and had a blood test done, which I just got the results for and I'm currently not showing any signs of ovulation. Uh, when I do, as soon as I get uh, two marks, uh, two lines on the ovulation test, um, I need to call them straight away and then go in for an ultrasound and they will check my uterus lining and see if it's, I don't know the words right now, um, fluffy or soft enough uh, for an egg to implant which it better be because I just want this to happen. <laughs> um, uh, what else? I now have to go in for another blood test on Saturday. Um, hopefully the results of that will show me, will, will show that I am close to ovulating or something to that effect. Um, and yeah, if the nurse tells you that you can transfer the money from your IVF cycle to your frozen egg transfer, don't listen. You can't. You have to pay again. Um, and yeah, so now I'm back at square one and I'm not going to be bothered getting the house ready today because I'm just not in the mood now. I was before, I got halfway through <laughs> cooking, I've done about two dinners and yeah, I'm done for the day, I'll probably just go for a walk and clear my head. Um, yeah, if anyone else is going through the same sort of thing and you're sick of waiting and being postponed and just getting back on track and then something else happens to push your treatment back, um, feel free to write me a comment on my comment page or under the, the comments under the video. Um, yeah, I'm, I, well I was ready to do this video but now I've just ranted and mumbled through the whole thing so I'll update you all again on Saturday after I get the results and hopefully I'll be able to let you know what's going on. Um, my original thoughts were that the egg transfer was going to happen within the next week, but now who knows? Um, it might be towards the end of next week. So anyway, um, thanks for watching and I will update you again soon. Bye YouTube.